morning. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning back into our channel where we do a daily blog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. And it is good to be back at home, um, getting back into the sort of normal routine of farming here. Um, it'd be interesting to see what's been happening over the last few days when I'm not being here. It's been the weekend, so I don't think anything drastic's happened, but um, yeah, it's still looking a bit too wet to combine. And we'll, um, yeah, we'll see what Andy's been up to. Andy? Morning, all right. And morning, Josh. Morning. Or should we say... Um, French farm. Most people call me the Yorkshire French farm. <laughs> see? a lot of people call Yeah, so, uh, so Josh was... Um, uh, family was farming yeah. local, weren't you? And then you moved over to France, yeah. but then he's been back over for the Yorkshire show. And uh, he said, could he come and see us? Yeah. Yeah. Your, your family helped, helped us out a lot, so we're happy to help you. Thank yeah, you. Come and have a look around. What have you been up to anyway? Uh, bit of this, bit of that. What about you? Been busy. He's there and everywhere. I've been to Great Eccleston, so. I know, I've been to Great Eccleston, I've been to Yorkshire, I've been here and there and everywhere, haven't I? You're here this week. I mean, well, a <laughs> little bit later <laughs> on in the week, maybe not, but um, yeah, I think that's just for the evening. Oh. But, but we better get some work done, haven't yeah. we, really? Yeah, right, let's get cracking. So Andy's going to get on the straw blower and start off with that. We'll probably open him some gates. Andy's just blowing the straw out. Time. Josh was just commenting saying, you not got your uh, 130 back yet? No, no. Still here. The 120. And he's just swallowing the bales up. So we've put them in lines so that we can pick them up the next day. Take them off the trailer, put them in lines, and then Andy can just back onto them, pick them up. Just down here now, it's got a bit wet outside with the um, rain that we're having. Over the um, last few days, it looks like they've bolted the posts down and put these gates in for this race. And that's the, um, the foot bath that we're going to put in. So we'll be able to run cattle up and get the feet treated a lot easier. Which is what we like. Jumped on the nine meter now. The lorry is having its inspections done. Um, Connor's just been getting some straw to do this mix. Get this ticked off. I'm just putting the molasses in now. It's nice going out to these shows and that, but. It's also nice just to be into the normal routine of being back on the farm. Um, but met a lot of nice people there at the show. Um, yeah, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. But like I said, love being back on the farm as well. So then, Josh? Should I push cafe? <laughs> it's coffee cafe. time. Me and Josh are off to school fix to get some bolts. You have to bolt some stuff down. But, um, we have to keep reminding which side of the car to get in. <laughs> I, mean, I keep thinking it's on the other side. Full <laughs> station, I've sorted us out again. And Josh has tried to get in the wrong side again. Yeah, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back in the yard now. Let's go and see if we can um, get these holes drilled for Andy. That's the lorry all passed now uh, with its inspection, which is good just to make sure that... Basically, if you have a lorry, you have to have it inspected every, I think it's 12 weeks. and. Um, I think you can do it yourself, so we could do it ourselves, but we like to have somebody who actually works with lorries do it, and then we know that everything's safe and above board. Um, so yeah, that's, that's ticked off. We've fixed, um, we're throwing some errors up, and it was the speaker wire again in the DAF that had come off, so he's had the panel off, soldered it back on, and uh, we should be fault free from now on. Fingers crossed. We're just getting a few cows out now. Let me read his tag number and weigh him. This is nice. Well, the rain's coming down now in South Yorkshire. I think we have to uh, check some of the drains and make sure they're good. We're in your straw on it, isn't there? Well, but then there's a pile of straw here in the entrance. So. <coughs> oh, Steve's Andy. Yeah. rods have snapped on me. Um, so now we're, we're digging at the back. See if we can, I'm hoping I've put that many through. That I'll, um, I'll have them in this section. Yeah. 
It's not there. It's to be the translator for his dad. Yeah, got two angles. Maliet was a Annuler le rendez-vous parce qu'il reste à l'hôpital. Yes, he's not even got one booked. I know. It's not funny. I'm looking at it. You found my pipes? Very good. I have a lot of straw. Oh, I can't clean them. I don't want to seal. I'll seal it before we come down. Plenty of seals here. Yeah. Plenty of mud there then, Andy, isn't there? Pipes you got in here? What? Well, there shouldn't be here. That one. I didn't think there wasn't a bamboo or no. So, we're just wondering something, and uh, what, what was it, Josh? Do that bit. What does that mean? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Come undercover for a bit because um, it's quite wet out there. Can you see it? It's pushing pipe all the time now. It's just. Thick with straw. There's a lot of pressure on it because it's moving tall. Oh, oh, I think we're nearly there, aren't it? I'm not sure if it'll squirt at me. What do you reckon? Is it going to be a squirter? I'm just going to get soaked. Hey, it's fast this, you know. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. One, two, three. You happy? Oh, lovely. Well, it's running now. All that straw in the yard. From Andy's straw blower. I reckon there's a bow in the pipe. Are you dancing again? I would say there's a bow in the pipe. <laughs> Is that a uh, manhole cover? Is that going to be somewhere in there? No, miles off. Guys, we're all coming to see what we were doing. Now, I've got a concrete disc because on this new concrete, we've got a piece that's not working properly. Get one of them discs for the big grinder so then we didn't have to keep putting batteries in, but um, they didn't have any tool station, so. Although they're not, they don't make them, I don't know. But um, yeah, while it's raining, we'll do this job and then I can see actually where um, I need to take bits off. And is here, going down the cattle race. With his wheelbarrow. Mm. You having fun, Andy? Brilliant. Brilliant. It hadn't took two minutes to wipe through two batteries with this, uh, with this setup, but it is taking the concrete down. I'll tell you what, it's diamond tipped, I think it is. Should have got concrete down, down right in the first place, shouldn't we? But, um, you know, we can't all be perfect. Definitely not here. These guys are down here fixing the posts in. <laughs> Josh is waving, look. Bonjour, no. And he's on, welding away. Put my boots back on because it's getting hot. Anyway, it's roller cola time. Vive. Let me know where you think that's from. In the comments below. I actually realized I'd brought proper Coke and Vive Coke, so I don't know why or why my mum's bought the flash stuff. I think that's right, isn't it? Is that genuine? That one on the right? I know the one on the left is definitely not. No, it must not be. It's not Coca Cola, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, so it is, yeah. You could have that one, Andy. I love, I love cheapo, cheapo nasty. We got Josh on operating the gates. He's a French gate bitch today. <laughs> he is funny. Just going around doing a bit of feeding up now. So it sounds like Andy's on his way in here. Yeah. Here he is. Who's MX Tynes? Guess where they're from? <laughs> Saying that Josh is French, but he's actually born in England, weren't you? Yeah, but Yorkshire born. Yeah, Yorkshire, yeah. Yorkshire Barnsley. born and bred. <laughs> Business. Put too much diesel in, Andy. It might be going soon. 
Who knows? Oh, no. we'll, get the well, you miss it. It's not a bad track. It's, it's a nice track, though. It is, isn't it? It's not, not... You wouldn't know, really, would you, day-to-day, -day, that you're in a an M compared to an R. It's just doing the same job. But it's nice because you can see it better. Sloping bonnet. Yeah, sloping bonnet. A bit more visibility. Yeah. Still got enough power to do what we want it to do. Yeah. Manual spool valves. Yeah. It's got a nice electric shuttle. That's a good bit from the joystick, isn't it? Oh, for forward and backwards. Yeah, that's nice. What do yeah, you use it round yard? Yeah, you use it all the time. Do you? Yeah, can you? Yeah. yeah. I just, I just used it. Well, I thought I'd just use it if I was loading. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's good though. It's good. I like it. It's a step up. Wait the back end of it, like wait the sides of it. Yeah, I think that's a, maybe the maybe the trouble. So we're just. <laughs> We're just about to start something and Andy starts a tractor up, eh? What a star. Well done. <laughs> Sandy! Uh, so, uh, I was just starting my big uh, speed. <laughs> so, over to Josh who's going to do a mix of entrance today. Right. Happy birthday to Alison Cliff and Wayne Wilson who's 46, Andrew Mackle and Chris Lamplin, who's 35. Go Business. on, we want the French for happy birthday. Joyeux anniversaire. There we go, brilliant. Andy wanted us to highlight Farm Safety Week as well, so um, they're saying take five to stay alive, supposedly that's... Right then. Yeah. Keep right. safe on your farms, in Business. France and in the UK. <laughs> that's about it from us today. Um, Josh is back tomorrow yeah. for another day, which is good. It's been very entertaining for us, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been great. Hey. <laughs> I'm really poor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're charging all his money. <laughs> yeah, he's been charging Andy to do little jobs for him. Um, so yeah, if you've liked today's video, press like and subscribe. And to all our French audience, so we're gonna have hundreds of French. I know. Followers, we have tons you know? of subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll say bye bye. Oh, uh, oh, au revoir, innit? Yeah. Au revoir, everyone. Au revoir.